Hi everyone, Matt from PC Magic again. Sorry, no one to hold the camera for me today. Uh, I RMA'd a uh, Z170, this is my personal rig, uh, Z170 ASRock uh, Fatality K6 Plus. Um, the LLC uh, was fluctuating, uh, VRMs obviously failed somewhere along the line. So I now have an Asus Apex, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, our overclockers out there all know that the uh, LN2 guys are uh, setting world records all over the place with this board. Um, if you're on water, the OC Formula Astroc board probably is a little bit easier to get where you want it to go uh, at this point, but um, this is a little bit more fiddly apparently. Uh, the BIOS updates may help in the future, but we'll see how we go. Um, just thought I might uh, show you this build. Uh, the changes are the motherboard, obviously. Um, got rid of the Raystorm block, wanted to try out the EK Supremacy um, on uh, recommendation of the world's best uh, H2O water, water overclocker. Um, the rest of the build is going to be similar to what was in Storm Beast. Um, uh, so this uh, is still going to have the uh, E-Die uh, IC chipped uh, DDR3200 Corsair LED um, RAM and it's going to have, um, here we go, with the screen sort of painted white now that I'm going into a, a black case. I had the white Storm case before, now I wanted to go uh, into the black one. It's going to be a black and red build predominantly with white uh, throughout, white fittings, etc. Um, Alpha Cool D5 pump in it. I believe the EK uh, Revo D5 pump would be a better pump, but I got this under uh, favourable circumstances for, from someone I, I did a build for. Thank you. Shout out to uh, Matthew Macken out there. Um, thanks for that pump. Now, um, what else is going to go into here? Uh, it's it's going to get tidied up as far as the custom loops concerned. It was a bit sloppy before. I had uh, a lot of loops, uh, the long loops, because I, I planned on ice bucketing out the front of the, with the 360 rad, which I never got round to. So even though I might still want to do that one day, I'm going to um, uh, make it a lot straighter and a bit tidier than it was uh, last time. Um, unfortunately, I don't get to yet make use of the uh, M2.1 M, M2 uh, slot that's here, uh, which can uh, have a, it, it, there's a card that slots in there and you can put um, M2 or uh, NVMe drives in there, uh, rated uh, as well if you, if you so choose. This area here is the best part of it all. Um, voltage read points obviously. Uh, this is a great one down here, which I've only had a little fiddle. We've only had a little bit of a play with it so far in an AIO cooler, but that's a, a, a memory OK button. So if you're trying to overclock memory and it fails, you can just press that to reboot. Keep your CPU settings or your rest of your overclock settings. Just bring the RAM back to, to where it'll boot fine. Um, I'm not going to go through it all, but there's uh, these ones are an interesting little switch. I'm going to enjoy trying to find out what they are. They're for ASRock Tech, uh, sorry, Asus Techs only. Uh, this here is your boot sequence, so you can see when it, where it's failing at boot. Um, LN2 jumper over here. Uh, not that I'm going to get to use that little puppy. Uh, but just, just a quality board. I mean, I love the shape of it. I love the cutouts. The best thing about the board, guys, two dim slots. Yep. Two dim slots is better than four for overclocking. And if you... I mean, seriously, I mean... Why would you populate four slots with 4x4 or 4x8 or something when you can get, say, uh, 2x16 if you want to use that much RAM? I only want to use 2x8 sticks. Matter of fact, I'm uh, potentially going to get some 2x4 uh, high frequency sticks because uh, chances are they'll overclock better, but maybe not on this board. I mean, it'll have great control over the, over the uh, IO and SA voltages. Um, it's about as good a phase design as you can ask for. Two 8-pin CPU connectors, 4-pin Molex for assisting PCI Express. Um, uh, rave lights everywhere, RGB, all that sort of stuff. Lights up under here, lights up from the back of the motherboard, lights up under the VRMs. Uh, I'll be setting it at probably one colour. I'm not interested in boo, 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 going on in my case, you know. Uh, the aesthetics are just lovely, though. 
all round, can't fault it. Um, I'm hoping the last board had the uh, heat sinks come above the motherboard, which made rad and fan positioning at the top quite difficult. I had to have one in push and one in pull. I'm hoping, I'm gonna put it in the case in a minute, I'm hoping I've got enough clearance there that I can have two fans inside or I'll buy some slings. Um, same, same loop configuration, basically. Uh, there's not a lot of changes there. Uh, so uh, uh, Alpha Cool 360 by 60, uh, all copper, and, and uh, EK uh, 280 by, mm, what is it, 280 by 30, 280 by 35, is going in the top. Um, uh, just a, a Samsung 850 uh, Evo SSD at this point until I get the N N NVMe. Uh, what else do you need to know? Not a lot more. Thought the SLI uh, connector could have been a little bit sexier, but it's uh, it's going to do the job. So oh, you get a you get a coaster, you get a coaster with this board. That's pretty cool. Uh, stickers, which given the black and red theme, I don't really want to use stickers, but I might whack a couple of those on there somewhere just to give it a little bit more something something. But uh, looking forward to doing this build. Um, Anyone who knows me knows I don't game as much as I overclock, so I'm just going to stick with two GDX 680s at this point until uh, uh, I find I'll, I'll probably go second hand on the market for something with a water block in a, in a 9 series card now that there's going to be a few around. Um, yeah, if I gamed more, I definitely would go uh, a 1080 or, or better, 1080 Ti. Um, but I wouldn't do it without a water block. That's just a, a waste of clock speed. Given they start throttling back at 35 degrees, uh, you won't get your maximum clocks out of it ever, really. So um, hopefully I'll uh, post some more for you to have a look at as this goes along. Uh, I know the visuals weren't too exciting, guys, but uh, and the camera's a bit shaky, but catch you soon.